Hi, I'm Mr. Goddard, and this is Stopping with the Color Sensor. Uh, the code I'm going to show you is good for the LEGO Mindstorm Inventor or the LEGO uh, Education with a Spike Prime uh, robot. So what I've got over here is just pretty much the simplest bot I could throw together. I've just got a, a frame and I've got a motor uh, on each side there. Um, on the back, I've got uh, just a little ball uh, functioning as a, as a third wheel on the back there. Uh, I'll probably post something on how to build this if you're curious. I've got the motors plugged into A and B ports and into C I've got the little color sensor there. And what we want this robot to do is to drive forward until he hits the red. So just, just so that he'll stop on the red. So without further ado, here's a look at the code. Um, some of this is a little bit redundant, but I think it's good standard practice here. I'm setting the movement motors to A and B. I'm setting the movement speed to 50%, and then I'm just start moving, and I've got it set it straight. And then, if you look here, I have a wait until block. So I say wait until the color sensor, which is on port C, it uh, reads red. And when that happens, I stop moving. All right. I've already got everything synced up here with Bluetooth, so I'm going to run the program. And there we go. In fact, I was almost missed it there. I pulled that back a little bit. So um, I'll put it significantly closer here, run it again, and you'll see, again, it just starts the motors moving and then stops right there on the red. All right. So that code is using the Lego Mindstorms uh, Inventor software, but you can do the same thing <laughs> with a Spike Prime kit, and the code is almost identical. Set the when the program starts, set the movement motors to whatever your movement motors are. Uh, set the movement speed again. Those two aren't totally necessary, but they are um, uh, helpful. Uh, sort of a good practice to get into. Then I've got it set to start moving straight, and then you want to wait until uh, A, uh, whoop, in this case I would need to change it to port C, actually, or wherever you have that color sensor plugged in, and then whatever color you want it to read. So maybe you don't want it to stop on red, maybe you want it to stop on blue, or maybe you want it to stop on green, or white, or black, or the absence of a color, or, or maybe you want to do something totally different. Anyway, uh, that's how you can change your settings, and then hit the stop moving. So, thanks for watching. As always, like and subscribe, especially if you want more videos.